Have you ever tried to select multiple cells that were not next to each other? Sure, there's control click for the PC, there's command click for the Mac, but in this video, I'm gonna teach you the shortcut to select non-adjacent cells using only the keyboard. If you wanna select cells that are not next to each other using the mouse, the way to do it primarily is with the keyboard pressing and holding the control key and then clicking with the mouse. This is probably what you've done thus far. You can even click and drag and get a whole range going. That's for the PC. For the Mac, it's the same thing, except instead of control, you're using command, keeping it pressed, and then clicking around that way. However, if you ever want to use the keyboard only, the way to do it is with Shift F8. And the memory trick is, you should have come along, you funny mate, which is terrible. I know this is a terrible uh, trick, but hey, it actually helps you remember the should is the shift and the funny mate sounds like eight. So it's kind of like, you know, close, I guess. Um, either way, the way to do it here is to keep shift F8 pressed now and then move with the arrows. And what that does is it keeps that selection in place before moving. If I shift down and to the right, for example, and then hit shift F8 again, I can safely move without losing that selection. So that's the whole trick before you move you wanna hit the shift F8, otherwise you will quote unquote lose your work, right? If I hit shift arrows and then I move aside without hitting shift F8, I start from scratch. So that's a big, uh, a big tip right there is not to, um, not to do that until you're done and you actually have it all selected that you want. So there's one more nuance, which is that if you wanna take an entire range, you'll go ahead and hit shift F8 once, move aside as we, as we saw, but if you wanna take a single cell you'll hit Shift F8 twice before moving up. Otherwise, it will not work. So if it's a single cell, you hit it twice. And if it's a range of cells, you hit Shift F8 once before you move. I've created a series of exercises for you to practice this uh, shortcut specifically. So the way to do it is to go to the non-adjacent ranges tab. You wanna match the format. Everything that's on the left here, you wanna make it look identical to the way it is in the example on the right. The only difference here is the bolding, but use the shortcut that we just learned. So select all of these, hit Shift F8, and then that way you'll get it all selected before you even apply the bold. And you would do it all in one swoop, and that's kind of the whole benefit of this shortcut. That's for the ranges. The next uh, tab is gonna be the same thing, but with individual cells, notice you're gonna hit Shift F8 the first time just once, but afterwards, Shift F8 twice before you move on, otherwise it will not work. And that's the whole trick there. Finally, if you're feeling adventurous, you'll go to this non-adjacent challenge and you'll do all of these in one uh, selection without uh, using the mouse, and that way you can practice all of this together. Don't forget to visit Excelsior.com where you can download these exercises along with other free resources such as keyboard shortcut cheat sheets for both PC and Mac. Thanks for watching. See you next time. And if you can only take a stand for one thing in your life, take a stand for sharing the Excel love. That sounds like someone I would stand for.